So here I am. My stream starts going down soon as Crete got hit. I can go back and see when it started diving, when my stream started taking a dive. And you can compare it up almost to the minute. And it's not that I've got data running from St. Louis in the United States over through Crete, Greece, and because the earthquake struck, that's knocking down the bandwidth. No. No, there's somebody bombarding my PC, and I would show you my open ports, but I don't want to announce my open ports to the world. Anyways. What we were looking for got hit. It's exactly as expected. And guys, what can I say? I mean... It's going to go into Italy next. I mean, these progressions of fives are, are, they happen all the time. And as they progress out, they hit the next region next to them. That's what happened over here today. Take a look at it. Yesterday's fives in more of a pinkish color here. Today's five here. Do you notice anything? How about a progression westward? How about a new deep earthquake up here in the Sea of Oktusk? Remember that, guys? We issued a warning for the Sea of Oktusk for a new deep earthquake in the 4.7 range? And why were we looking for a new deep earthquake in the 4.7 range up in the Sea of Oktusk? Well, down here at our letter X, we had a 5.0 at the South Sandwich Islands. And I told you guys a day and a half ago that this five would travel through the planet and come back out up here at the Sea of Oktusk and cause a new deep earthquake up here. That's exactly what happened. Now, why would somebody not want you to know that? I mean, I think it's cool to know when an earthquake's going to strike. Maybe they don't. I don't know. I don't really want to guess on the motivations of the people who are trying to shut me down, but it's pretty obvious they are when you've got a few million incoming packet requests to a port on your computer, and you change the port, and all of a sudden the packet requests come to a new port. Uh, what can I say? Someone is trying to literally try to hit me with a brute force attack and it works to some extent it shuts down my internet <sighs> but in this case lagging on YouTube I don't know I don't know so I'm doing my best and again if you're over in Crete or in South Europe you had a three day four day warning you had a three-day warning for this. I'm sorry, three-day warning for this 5.2 to strike in Crete. And I mean we issued the warning between Crete and Cyprus. Crete is where the red arrow is over there, over that island where the 5.2 is. And Cyprus is here. And we told you guys, watch near Crete, because when pressure comes in from Iran and from Turkey and the Middle East and even as back as far as South Russia, that we had that 5.0 activity a couple days ago out here. Here it is. See? 5.2. See this? In red, this 5.2 struck first. Then the 5.2 here struck. It's pretty obvious. Momentum maintained across Iran and Turkey. So I would expect that this would lose a little bit of steam as it goes around the bend and comes up into central Italy. But central Italy, already primed and ready, the swarm there has gone pretty much through the roof yesterday and today. There's hundreds of earthquakes striking here. USGS only shows two. <laughs> USGS only shows two, and there's been more like a hundred. And that's no exaggeration. Go check the INGV Italian list. Hundred, two diff hundred different twos to 3.0 earthquakes. So that's increased the hundreds of twos and 3.0 well, I mean, guys, now you got another five on your doorstep. And it comes right up your way. So if it loses a few points, let's say it even loses a full magnitude. Let's say it goes down by a factor of 10. It's still going to be 4.2. Okay, so dust off your earthquake plans in central Italy, south of Norcia, north of Campo Basso in the Abruzzo La Kilo range. Okay? So it's a pretty specific little area. I hope I get it right, right down to the area. But I can tell you, it is on the map. Sorry, I'm zooming in and out. Bad habit. I want to express the uh, seriousness of this to you. So I want to zoom in on it like you guys will remember it. Okay, so over in Italy, have a plan and be prepared. 
The only other thing I want to talk about real quick, Sea of Oak Tusk, man. New 4.5. Uh, 4.5 in the Sea of Oak Tusk means shallow 5.5 to 6.5 is potential in two different locations. One, over to the east in the Aleutian Island chain. Two, over to the west, all the way out here in China. North China, south of Mongolia, south Siberia. Whenever we see earthquakes in North Japan, we have to watch to the west and to the east. And technically that's not Japan, that's the Sea of Oktus, Kuril Islands, east of Russia. So new, pretty obvious. And now we pretty much can forecast deep earthquakes at this point. We now know that pressure transfers back through the planet. Once it reaches our termination points, it travels through the planet and comes out near the antipodal or the opposite side of the planet with a similar sized earthquake. So a 5.0 down here causes a 4.5 to 4.7 up here on the opposite side of the planet. And another example here is 5.0 that's out here on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. You see this here, 5.1, go on the other side of the planet, coming out the other side at our letter D, a 4.9 to 5.1 deep earthquake. So it recycles. As the pressure recycles, guess what happens? It excites things up. So we hope over the course of a week or 10 days or 12 days that the pressure will expend itself before it gets to our letter X's. Once the pressure reaches the letter X, it goes right back down through the planet, comes out on the other side as a new deep earthquake that kicks things off again with larger movement. And you can imagine this would become a feedback loop eventually. If the pressure makes it all the way around, it goes back through and comes back out, and it keeps happening that way, it can feed on itself. It's amazing. And I literally, uh, we guys, we've been studying this for seven years, but in the past several months is where we noticed the antipodal deep earthquake versus shallow earthquake forecasting connection. That is huge. That makes a huge difference in trying to forecast for the planet and the deep earthquakes that cause all this movement to begin with. So it's amazing. It really is. The only other thing I'd like to talk about here really quick is um, Taiwan was hit. Taiwan got hit by a 4.8 earthquake today, guys. So right off the northeast tip of Taiwan, struck by a 4.8, but USGS not reporting it. Hmm. USGS not reporting a 4.8 earthquake in Taiwan. Gee, I wonder why they wouldn't report an earthquake in Taiwan near 5.0. You know the USGS normally is keeping track of those kind of things, don't you guys? What do we got going on? Another tube. You know the USGS normally should keep track of those things, and uh, we would expect it to be on the map for today since it struck today, but it's not there. So we have a 5.5 over at Guam yesterday, and I told you guys to watch for a similar sized earthquake in northeast of Taiwan today, and it got hit. Now you don't see it, so I'm going to go show it to you and prove it to you that it hit. So the way we're going to do this, we'll go to the worldwide earthquakes more than 4.0. See this here? Let me click on it. 4.8, 125, 2017. 55 kilometer depth, and our location is right northeast of Taiwan. And I will get our coordinates and go put them in for anybody to go take a look. This is important. This is important. And you know what really bothers me, guys, is that the USGS is not reporting it. You know why? Because we issued a forecast for it. It's the only reason they're not they're not reporting it. Otherwise, they would report the 5.0 in Taiwan. But they can't report it because they denied that earthquakes can be forecast. And because they denied earthquakes can be forecast, well, now here we are and we forecast an earthquake and the USGS doesn't report it like a bunch of babies. So here's Taiwan. Take a look at where the earthquake struck. Hmm. We issued the warning from northeast of Taiwan to Okinawa. Ha! Huh. And Okinawa up here, northeast of Taiwan, there's the 5. Now why did a 5 hit right here? Well, look over to the east, a 5.5 hit over at Guam. And we were expecting this. But USGS not reporting it to you guys because they don't want to have egg on their face 
for denying that earthquakes could be forecast. So it's much easier for them to just ignore them and pretend like it didn't happen and hope that I go away. Well, I'm not going away, and I'm going to bust their you know what every time they do it, and we're going to make fun of you, USGS, for being scientifically ignorant on the topic of... And we have more information coming in here on YouTube than you do at the USGS. And I'm laughing at you because I'm doing this all on a shoestring budget with a bunch of help from people around the world, while the USGS is collecting millions of dollars and can't seem to report earthquakes. Hmm. And we can forecast them. They can't. So, I'd be happy to teach them, but guess what they said? They don't want to learn. Did you know that? Did you know that the USGS said they don't want to learn how to forecast an earthquake? They're not interested. That's what they told me. Some, I, wrote, I wrote the USGS telling them I'd be happy to teach them how to forecast an earthquake. They sent me back a web page that says that it's impossible to forecast the earthquakes and they're not interested in learning. Now, isn't that weird? In science, they're not interested in learning. Now, I'm shocked by that, but then I also am more shocked that they're going to hide earthquakes that are striking in areas where we name, which means they are watching. I mean, you know, in order for them to hide the earthquake that struck there, they first have to be aware that there's going to be an earthquake to strike there and then take the steps to hide it for a good reason. The only reason I can think they would hide it is because they're actively trolling my pages. The lead professors that run the networks, networks at the USGS <clears throat> and PNSN actively troll my pages. Like, and I'm talking, they come to my pages to say horrible things. So if the people that control the networks and the reporting service come to my pages to say horrible things, then I issue a warning for Taiwan to be on watch for a 5.0. Then a 5.0 hits, and the USGS, the people who are trolling me, don't report it. That should raise your eyebrows. Are they doing this just to protect themselves, or are they doing it to spite me? Which is it? It's not a technical error. It's not a technical error, especially when other agencies are reporting it and it's on the European feeds, USGS could easily populate it and let their viewers and everybody, all the scientists know that the West Pacific, Taiwan, we have assets there. We have companies there. We have tourists there. We have assets there. There's no reason. Military assets as well as civilian. No good reason not to report a 5.0 earthquake that struck here or 4.8. No good reason. The only reason I could see would be censorship. Hmm. Got some sirens going on out here outside my house. All right, so word up to my people. Have a plan. Be prepared just in case. Just understand several of the areas we were looking at to be hit have been hit, and we're going to continue to see this happen throughout the rest of the week. If you live in Italy, you need to have a plan and be prepared. I don't need to tell you this anymore. You know this from this past week's earthquakes. But it's now on your doorstep again. 5.2. If it loses a half magnitude, that'll take it down to 4.7. Okay? But if it doesn't lose and it stays, maintains its momentum, then you're looking at 5.0 activity back in Italy. So we hope it'll lose a little steam coming around from Crete and going up through Italy. You hope. But hope for less, plan for more. Okay? That's the good idea. So you hope it'll be less, but man, you know it's coming, so plan for more. Oh, I'll be back if anything else goes down, guys. And my computer, when I get the phone call, I'll be, of course, taking off to go pick it up. Um, apparently, some technical issues ran into it, and uh, we got some problems now. You know, it can never just be a simple put a card in the thing. No, no, no. No, 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 no. And it's always got to cost a little bit of money. That's weird, too. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could have done my own work, but whenever I do my own work, I seem to mess it up in the computer. I don't know. So, peace out, guys. Much love. I'll be back in a little while.